Yeah, Steve, it was a disappointing outcome for Alicia Watts' loved ones who say that they expected more out of today's hearing. Dunmore walked into the Montgomery County Courthouse this afternoon wearing a mask. Dunmore at times making eye contact with Watts' family when they were inside the courtroom. Now, Dunmore is charged with the July killing of Alicia Watts, whose body was found near the Montgomery County line. Dunmore was Watts' boyfriend, and he has a lengthy criminal history, including domestic assault. At one point, one of them burst into tears after the judge says Dunmore will not face the death penalty. He knows what he's going to do, you know? That's why we wanted him to stay in so other women won't be scared to, you know, go home at night or have to deal with a predator on the street. It would have been one less predator. But now, as you can see, if he makes bond, if there's a bombman out there that's willing to, you know, put the bond up for him, he will be released on house arrest. And so Dunmore will be held on a $1 million secured bond. And if he makes bail, he will be placed on house arrest and electronic monitoring. His next court date will be on January 8th. Reporting in Troy, Cindy Bate, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.